All right, welcome back to SAP Programming Skills Using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. Still on the Food Menu program. This is going to be version 2. Uh, version 2, we're going to uh, basically allow ordering either for takeout or delivery. That means we'll use an if-else statement. And uh, like many, many things in coding, there's, there's several options of how we could implement this. I'm going to implement it a certain way to give you some additional skills uh, related to this. So let's jump right into it. So first, make sure you've completed the previous video because uh, this code uh, continues where the previous video ended. As a quick review, when we run it, it displays the welcome message and um, displays the title, the welcome message, and asks, do you want to see today's specials? And you can say yes and see today's specials. Um, and remember, we said you could either do a lowercase or an uppercase Y, and it handles that. Um, or, of course, if you say no, you don't care about the specials, and it just does that. So the next thing we want to do is handle this takeout or delivery. So I'm going to come down here to our main uh, program. We handled the, the uh, title, the welcome. And now we want to handle takeout or delivery. And I could certainly, you know, one option I could do is, uh, so handle takeout or delivery. So one way I could do this is, um, oh, say handle takeout or delivery. Right? I, I could have a function that does that. And we could, we could pursue it that way, and that's certainly one way to do it. But I'm going to do it a little differently in this case. I'm going to say, let's have an integer called um, takeout. So we'll have an integer t called takeout. And we're going to actually set it to zero. So, or you know what, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to have a variable called takeout. And then I'm going to say this. I'm going to say takeout is going to equal to determine takeout or delivery. Now remember, I'm, I'm doing it this way because, as I said, there's many ways you can implement a program. But as we're learning the skills, one of the things I want to show here is we can call a function in this case, determine takeout or delivery. And this will return back to us whether it's takeout. In fact, I'm going to say determine takeout. Because what I want to know is, is this a takeout order? Um, or is it a, a, a different order? Is it takeout or delivery or, or something else? In fact, and again, I'm, I'm doing it like this to give you kind of the thought process of how code gets developed. Um, I'm going to say, you know, I, I actually am going to go back and say um, take out, uh, determine take out or delivery. So determine take out or delivery. And the idea here is this will return true or or it'll return one thing if it's takeout, it'll return something else if it's delivery. And um, and again, just bear with me, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it like this so we can show one, we can show a value being sent back to us. And um, the other thing is we'll put the logic inside this function. All right. So go ahead and copy this into your buffer. So I'm doing a copying this into my buffer there. Um, because we know we want to declare the function before we use it. So unlike the previous functions that return void, this one's actually going to return an integer, determine takeout or delivery. And I'm going to put a comment here. I'm going to say return uh, one, which is true. We'll say true, return one if takeout return 
0, which is treated as false, if delivery. All right, so that's that's our goal here. So what we'll do when we come in here, we'll do a, um, and, and actually I would recommend as we do this, go ahead and click on run, right? And notice we've got a warning, control reaches end of non-void function. Well, it was warning us here. It says, you know, you're, you're saying you're going to return an integer, but right now you're not returning anything. For testing purposes, you could actually do this. You could say, well, right now I'm just going to say return 1. I'm just going to return 1. And of course, we know that 1 is, um, is going to be takeout. And so I'm going to say, if takeout, okay, so if, if takeout, then what we'll do for now is say, put string to do handle takeout details, right, whatever that is. Else, put string to do handle delivery details, whatever that happens to be. And notice by doing it this way, I can, I'll go up here and click on stop and click on run. And now my code builds without any warnings. Do you want today's specials? No, I don't. And I have a to do handle takeout details. Why? Because we know when we return one, we're doing takeout. Suppose I come here and I change it to a zero and I click on run. It says, do you want to see today's specials? No, I do not. Handle delivery details. So we've got it where we can handle either takeout or delivery. So what I'll do, given that, I'll say, well, I'll now come and refine this. Remember our concept, stepwise refinement. I'll say printf do is this is this takeout so takeout or delivery and we'll just say D or or uh, well well we got one takeout T or D so takeout or, or so which one is it and of course we now know we can get a character we'll say uh, let's get a C int C equals to get char and remember, since we're learning how this really works, we'll do a print f and show the value of c. We, we're, we might be surprised what we find here. And that's one of the reasons I encourage you to do it there. Make sure it's what you think it is, because as we'll see here, you may be surprised. So we'll click on run. Ooh, we got a warning. Control reaches end. So we got to once again say, well, you know what, we got this warning. For right now, we'll ignore it. I'll say no, I don't want to see today's specials. Is this takeout or delivery? And notice when it shows me the value of C, I get something I'm, I'm not expecting. I'm getting a some kind of strange character here. And in fact, I'm going to go back here and say, you know what, this really bothers me. Let me print out C both as a decimal value and also as a character value. So let's let me print it out two times. So right here I'm going to say print it out as a decimal value dash and as a character value. So here print it once, print it twice. Remember you can pause the video at any time um, if you need to I think about this more, experiment with it. So I'll click on Run. Do you want to see today's specials? No. And notice what we're picking up is this number 10. And if you remember from earlier videos, 10 is the new line character. That is the return key. Actually, it's return, not new line. Um, the well, I guess return, yeah. So the, the 10, when we, when we typed in this letter N, not only did we get the N, but the next character to be read in was that return key, that enter key or that return key. So when we said get char, 
we actually got that character. So we're getting the, the, the extra character. So this is great, right? This is how you, you debug your code. Remember when we, in the previous video, we had this ask about specials and we read the character here? We should have also, I'm going to put a comment, now eat the trailing uh, new line character. In other words, just do a get char. We don't care what's in there because what happens when you, when you enter this, not only do you see the end, but there's this invisible new line character from when you press the enter key. So I'll add this. And remember, again, you can pause the video, make sure you're in this Ask About Specials. I'll click on Run. No, I don't care about that. Is this takeout or delivery? I'll say T. Ah, notice we got our T. So indeed, we're getting a T. And of course, if I run it again, I could say T or uh, so no, don't want this. D for delivery, and we get the D. So this is a key thing, and, and let me stress, there's other ways to do this, and later in the course we will find those other ways. But for, for now, I just want you to be aware that when you call get char, it literally gets the next character, and that includes the new line character when you press that enter key or that return key. So here we're going to determine takeout or delivery, and we'll say, all right, if... C is exactly equal to, so C is exactly equal to D, right? So if you enter a D, then, and notice my open and close curly braces, we're going to return zero, right? Return zero for delivery. And again, there are other ways to do this, but for right now, we're going to do it like that. So we'll, we'll return that. Else... So here we're going to have an else if C is exactly equal to T, takeout. Then we'll say return 1, right? Return 1 for takeout. Of course, as you're entering this, you're like, well, wait a minute. Suppose the user doesn't type a T or a D then we need another else condition. So here we've got an if, else if, else. We've actually got an error condition. In other words, they didn't enter a D or a T. And so what we're going to do is say return minus one, return error condition. So we're going to return, and in fact, you could even do it like this. You could say, you know what, if you get down here, else if, really, we could just do this. We could say, if we get here, just do, oops, do a return minus one. This is going to be our error condition. And in fact, I'm going to go and modify this. The reason I'm, I'm showing you literally as we write this code, it gives you an idea of, of how as you're writing code and making, you know, making changes, it literally what, what happens here. You know, how you can, as you're coding, make changes. In fact, right now, notice we've got an error that says expression result unused. So if C is exactly equal to T, then return, well, actually that error, Let's click on run. So we've got a return here, else. So I don't need to check for this. So actually, I do want this. I want the else if. So that was a mistake on my part. So if you've done a D or you've done a T, we're good. All right, we're good. But if you don't do either one, we're going to return an error. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to add to my documentation. I'm going to say, return minus one on error. So we're going to return either takeouts will be one, deliveries will be zero, or we'll return a minus one. And 
I'm going to come down here and change my logic where I'm going to say if um, I'm going to change this from being takeout, I'm going to change this to being result. And again, notice how I'm, as I'm editing, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to change different options here. So I'm, I'm going to change my name of my variable to be called result. And now I'm going to say if result is exactly equal to zero, we're going to handle takeout. Because remember up here, we said, ooh, no, we said takeout is one. We said delivery is zero. So I'm going to come down here and say, oh, well, we really want if the result equals zero, we're going to handle delivery. Else, if result is exactly equal to 1, then we'll handle takeout. Else, so if it wasn't a 0 and it wasn't a 1, anything else, in our case, the minus 1 is will be put string, we'll say to do, handle error, we'll say handle error, so put string handle error. All right, let's give it a run, so I'll click on stop, click on run, oops, we got an error here, got this one where I'm notice I'm missing my semicolon, probably the most common error when you're writing code. Uh, click on run. Okay, C today specials. No. Is this takeout? Yeah, let's do T. All right, handle takeout details. Let's run it again. No, don't want to see the specials. Is How about delivery? Okay, I'll do uh, delivery. Cool, handle delivery details. And let's do it one more. Yeah, we'll see the specials. Let's don't do a D or a T. Press enter. Handle error. Now, it turns out there's, there's cleaner ways to write this code, and we'll learn that later in the course. But right now, I'm purposely doing it like this. And for this version 2, this is what you want to have, have running like we've got here. So for version 2, uh, get it where you can do choose either takeout or delivery, and you get to this handle, the, the takeout details, uh, remember, uh, carefully type in the code, carefully use the same indention that I'm, I'm using, uh, carefully, uh, if you need to, pause the video or watch it multiple times. But here we've got us a determined takeout or delivery, and this will either return a 1, a 0, or a minus 1. This far, another milestone, got version 2 going, uh, more to come in the next video, we'll do version 3. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.